Wow, good morning. Good morning, Benjamin. Are you working with your whisk? Mm -hmm. Let me see that. Let me see that. Oh, oh, is that your royal scepter this morning? Oh, oh, say good morning, friends. I had the food processor out for some zucchini that I was shredding up to go with my eggs this morning. And I remembered I have two heads of cauliflower that you can see I have a couple brown spots. I'm going to cut those off. But I'm going to go ahead and prep some baggies of just homemade collie rice. I know you can get collie rice at a lot of stores now and you can also just make it at home. Here's an update on how my mess is looking, but I am, this is two heads of cauliflower. So I will have a nice, I'll probably do two or three separate bags of the collie rice. So this is my breakfast. It's a whole zucchini fried with butter and three eggs. This is from, this idea is from the Trim Healthy Table cookbook by the Trim Healthy Mama Gals, and uh, it's kind of their version of fried eggs over potatoes, but of course we're swapping out potatoes for zucchini. What I ended up doing is I have five of these sandwich baggies full of collie rice, and I'm just gonna pop these in the freezer so I have them when I need them. So we are in one of our cities. We're having an errand running day. We have to take our dogs for them to get like the three years rabies vaccines and all of that, especially because they're gonna go in the kennel soon because we got some traveling coming up. I'm getting ready to go into a health food store because we've got about 30 minutes or so until the dog's appointments. Hoping to get all of our boys that are with us haircuts today, do those kind of things. So I've been reading through the Trim Healthy Table book by the Trim Healthy Mama Gals, and there's a bunch of ingredients I gotta get back in my kitchen cupboard. I realize a lot of those can be ordered, but since I was in town today, I thought I'd go ahead and get them. So I picked up a bunch of good stuff, not everything I needed, but the bulk of what I needed at the health food store, and then Zion helped me with the dogs at the vet. They did wonderful. Other dogs were barking and squirreling around, and our were scared because there's a lot of noise they don't go to the bed every day but they did really well and they got a small little lip of peanut butter which makes every day better so now I'm gonna run into sharp shoppers since we're in this city and load up on yogurt deals we don't need anything else but we do need yogurt we also need lunch while we're out sometimes they have like lunchables and other lunch type snacky things so I'm gonna try to get us lunch there and load up on a bunch of yogurt hopefully they have some and uh, more things are coming. Liam, man's pushing the card, aren't mm -hmm. you? This same yogurt I paid almost $8 a case for because I was in Costco the other day. The kids ate both cases in two days. Here it is at Sharp Shopper for $1.99. So I'm getting 10 cases because yes, we'll eat it. So yes, Sharp Shopper was a success. I got 10 of these yogurt boxes. And then for lunch while we're out, these are only 99 cents. So I got 10 of this kid kebab kind and then 10 of these and that way all the kids can have two and we'll have some left over. The Fiesta blend and then uh, some different cheese sticks because we're using up a lot of those. Oh and the granola bars. Bought big box for $7.99 for the lake. My sharp shopper total came to $104.54. I also added in 12 packs of crackers that were 99 cents for each pack and there were eight in a pack. So it's a whole lot of crackers for our lake trips also. But here's how our total overflowing cart looks. And um, Travis, of course, had to go to the parts store. So Liam, you're having a sidewalk lunch for a minute. We just got haircuts on these boys. And now we are having the little collars. I hadn't had little like phone number collars for the dogs. So we're having this done for Glacier, and then Avalanche, and then I've got to come back. There it goes. Then we have to come back and pick up Zion. He's still getting his hair cut. Isn't that cool, Daniel? Mm -hmm. So we are back home from running all those errands all day long, and I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted. It's, uh, it's 7.13 p.m., and that's it. Mama's done, mama's done, so everything's done, right? Uh, kids are outside jumping on the trampoline. They're apparently not done. Travis is outside putting new tires on the van. We ordered them, and they came in the mail, all that modern stuff, so he's just gotta like 
put them on there, however that works. Uh, my mom is coming. She's gonna be here with us all this week. And we ran those dogs around today to the vet, etc. And I ended up accidentally on purpose going grocery shopping in three different stores. If you're new here, I, uh, I live 45 minutes to an hour away from like all the big stores. So if I find myself in one of our cities and everything aligns where like the kids are happy, Travis can wait in the van, all of that. Sometimes I'm able to sneak into some stores unexpectedly, which is helpful. And I wasn't planning on talking about this much yet. My goodness, here you go, Jamerel with your big mouth. I had just told myself this morning, now Jamerel, if you're gonna try to get back on Trim Healthy Mama, on the Trim Healthy Mama plan, you need to do it until like August and then start telling people like you're doing it and how it's going. Instead, here I am in June, almost July, saying I'm shopping for Trim Healthy Mama. So I am. I was on the Trim Healthy Mama plan four years ago. I was on it fairly consistently for two years through my pregnancy with Daniel and I lost uh, 30 or so pounds and then during my pregnancy with him all the weight I lost was right off after I had him. All of that then we had, I'm bringing you up to speed real quick, <laughs> JMRL Cliff Notes here. Then we had what turned out to be a very stressful move. And the last two years, I just haven't cared because there's only so much brain power each person has. And when I did the Trim Healthy Mama plan, I had to take it on like a hobby for myself. And the last two years, I have not been able to have Trim Healthy Mama as a hobby. So I've been feeling like I can give it another go. I just know recently a lot of people have been asking me, hey, Jay Morrell, what's wrong with your face? What's wrong with your face? Your face looks swollen. Well, what's wrong with my face, friends, is I have a good 30 pounds extra on me than I, than I had from when I started doing YouTube almost 40 years ago. So that's one of the, I guess, sad things about doing video is that if you have any physical appearance changes, uh, you then have a record of it. So I have 30 pounds extra on me from when I had Benjamin last summer. He's 11 months old, about to be a year old now, and I'm going to for myself with fear and trepidation. And you know, if you're a regular viewer, I've only said this like, I don't know, a hundred times in the last two years, but I am making sure I have what I need to get back on the Trim Healthy Mama plan. Now some things have changed. The plan itself hasn't changed over two years. It's just my head hasn't been in the game consistently for two years. And there's some new products out there. And I know now like the Trim Healthy Mama ladies, they have a lot of products for sale on their site, which it wasn't that way four years ago when I was starting this. So while we were out in the city today, I got a bunch of stuff uh, to help me just get stocked up. Some things I have, other things I needed, some things I could have ordered. As I mentioned, I just went ahead and got them because I had the opportunity to grab them. They were in front of me. And I went into that sharp shopper and got a bunch of good stuff. So I'm gonna show you all that now. So this shows you how uh, I'm already failing. <laughs> ha ha. Uh, Halo Top. I have been loving Halo Top lately. So like a whole pint is only 360 calories of my favorite uh, chocolate chip cookie dough flavor. And the peanut butter cup is another flavor that I absolutely love. Several ladies on Instagram have told me to try the oatmeal cookie flavor, so I got one of those. See, only 280 calories. And then also this mint chip flavor. So I got my standards, because there's some flavors with Halo Top I haven't liked, but I have loved the cookie dough and the peanut butter cup. And honestly, some days, like I can eat well all day, and then I'm like, this is gonna be my treat while I watch House Hunters at night. Only 360 calories and five grams of protein and all of that. I mean, certainly it's got to be at least half the calories of a pint of Ben and Jerry's. Anyway, I got this thinking I could still have it on Trim Healthy Mama. I asked a question in the Facebook group today to find out if this was even on plan because, like I said, I'm trying to get my head back in the game. Several ladies in the group told me that one-fourth, that half of a cup of this would be considered a fuel pool, but besides that, the, if you eat a whole thing of it, it's off plan. Anyway, I've got a bunch of Halo Top to replenish my stash. Don't know what I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna eat it, you know, that's just gonna be it. It still might have to be my daily treat until I get through it. Anyway, I know on Trim Healthy Mama, you can have some dark chocolate in moderation, and so this was a much better price at Kroger. I think it was like $2.95 a bar, so I got six bars. I got these 
Laughing Cow cheeses because I remember back in the day I could have one of these on like a slice of Ezekiel bread. Got some egg whites because for emails I can use that for egg whites. I got some blue corn chips and again I could be off. I thought I remember back in the day that blue corn chips were allowed in moderation with um, certain plan approved meals. So anywho, I'm sure my voice sounds pathetic right now because I'm tired and fading, but when I was in Kroger, I was like, oh, I, I know I can have a few blue corn chips. And then I got some more unsweetened almond milk for the Ezekiel bread. Now I know at Aldi, and if you're looking for this bread, Aldi has a really good deal on sprouted bread, but uh, I wasn't near an Aldi today. So these are more expensive. They're like $4.99 a loaf, but they go in the freezer and I'm the only one at this point in my family who eats them so this might be like two or three months worth of Ezekiel bread for me so this is what I got at Kroger then over here this is my probably way too expensive haul at my health food store in that city I got myself another cheesecloth because I didn't know where my other one was they didn't have nutritional yeast uh, which has a cheesy flavor and is good to sprinkle on various meals. Um, they didn't have it in like a container, so I had to measure it out and get it in this baggie. I also picked up, just like a fiend, three other bars of dark chocolate there because then I was like, oh, I could go into Aldi and get my Ezekiel bread and more things. I got these, I think you say it, Wasa crackers. These are another one I'm pretty sure are on plan. Just go, feel free to correct me in the comments. Seven carbs for one. One cracker that makes me think that this would qualify for uh, in the e-meal category then I got some whey protein because I am out I still I, I prefer back in the day I would order the Swanson whey protein then I got some milled flaxseed I got two separate sweeteners I really like the stevia sweetener and I have stevia but again getting my trim healthy mama collection going again I got both of those I also got some some steel cut oats, coconut flour, I have almond flour, and then, yes, however you say this. How do you say this? Uh, yeah, and then over here, now because you know we've been running errands all day, Travis had the kid help the kids get ready while I got ready this morning, and then we got in the van and left, and there you go, hello, evening dishes. Um, so at Sharp Shopper, if you just if we'll cross out the dishes, you will see all kinds of amazing deals. So we'll just start over here. All of these cases of Greek yogurt were $1.99, and yes, I'm just gonna let my kids eat all they want of it. They have no issues with yogurt and we have bought yogurt at sharp shopper now for uh, 15 plus years never had an issue we don't buy it like this all the time just because both locations are over an hour away for me but whenever I go in I stock up then these are the crackers you can see they got into some the rest of these are for the lake both of these big boxes of granola bars, $7.99 each. And you can see the date is September 2nd, 2018. Uh, you can believe me that these granola bars are gonna be gone probably before July 5th, 2018. And then also over here, I had grabbed Travis and I, it was like roast beef and then some turkey breast and some uh, pepperoni. We didn't even get into these. We ate the roast beef and then got into the cheese sticks. These bags, of Kraft string treat cheese were $2.99 each. I got four of them. I also got some of these Cracker Barrel cheeses, garlic and herb cheddar. They were $1.49, less than one carb per stick and uh, 80 calories and all that. So I also got uh, this Fiesta blend vegetables because I was just reminded of that in the Trim Healthy Mama book this morning and I thought, well, I'll go ahead and get some. So I'll have those in my freezer. So my Sharp Shopper haul uh, came to, it was like $104. Thank you so much for running around with us today and watching these quick, short little hauls. If you can tell, we're getting more videos up over here on Large Family Table, just trying to do videos as often as possible. Hope you guys are enjoying them and I'm gonna see you real soon with another brand new video. If you are new here, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up find me on Instagram, sign up for my email list, all of that. And all of that is in the description below. Bye-bye.